Hello Planeswalker, welcome to One Pack of Magic, where we open One Pack of Magic Cards. And it is the 5th anniversary of Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah, it came out 5 years ago today. Uh, funny thing, I got this a couple weeks back for, the, for this anniversary episode, but when I got my Booster Crate order a couple days ago, I got another pack. <laughs> so that's funny. And that's just going to show you, you know, Booster Crate, you don't know what you're going to get. But you might get something cool. Uh, not sponsored, but I have an affiliate link down below. Help me help you get some Booster Cards. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what's gone on these five years. Even though I haven't opened like five or six of these anyway. Alright, starting off. The good old Rakdos Scorchmark. One in a red instant Scorchmark deals two damage to target creature. If that creature would die this die this turn, exile it instead. Hazda Officer. Two in a white human soldier. Two three two. When Hazad Hazad Hazda. When buzzed officer, <laughs> there we go, enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Persistent Partitioners. They're pretty persnickety about that. They're persnickety persistent Partitioners. One and a blue human advisor, one three. One tap, target player puts the top card of their brain into the graveyard. Tap four untapped advisors you control. Target player puts the top 12 cards uh, of their library into their graveyard. A deck can have any number of cards named Persistent Persistent So. Get enough of them and boom. You can mill win. You can get a mill win. Undercity Embrace. Mwahaha. <laughs> Doing a black instant, target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, you gain 4 life. The Undercity is always hungry. Sour Form Hybrid. 1 in a green. Human Lizard Warrior. 2-2. Two, two. 4 green green. Adapt 4. If this creature has no 1-1 one, one counters on it, put 4 1-1 one, one counters on it. That's pretty cool. Becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Gruel Locket. Three drop artifact. Tap. Add one. Add red or green. Red, green. Splitsy, 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 splitsy. Tap. Sacrifice. Draw two cards. That's a lot. Frenzied Arnix. Two red, green cat beast. 3-3, three, three, Riot. This creature enters the battlefield with your choice of 1-1 one, one, or Haste. Trample, always nice. 4, Red, Green, Frenzied Har Arnix. Gets plus 3 from Seer until end of turn. Ooh. That'd be nice to Trample. Orzov Locket. It's a 3-drop artifact. Tap, add white or black. White, black, splitsy, 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 splitsy. Tap, sacrifice, draw 2 cards. I think all the lockets are like that, so. Deface. Or dat face. Um, single red sorcery. Choose one. Destroy artifact. Or destroy target creature with defender. I don't know how that you that that you deface a defender, but there we go. Skitter eel. Three. <clears throat> Hello. I'm going to see a puberty there again. Three and a blue for a fish grab. Three, three. Ooh. 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 Okay. Anyway. Not doing that again. Uh, three, three. Fish grab. Two and a blue. Adapt for two. It's no counters, but two. Orzov Racketeers. Four and a black. Human rogue. Three, two. Whenever Orzov Racketeers it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. After life of two. When this creature dies, create two one one white and black spirit creature tokens with flying. Looks like you need protection. 
right before they break a window. Windstorm Drake. Four and a blue, Drake, three, three, flying. Other creatures you control, flying, get plus one, plus zero. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. All right, we got Incubation and Incongruity. Incubation is a green, blue, splitsy. Sorcery, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them. and Put the put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library, and run the board. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Incongruity is one green blue instant exile target creature. That creature's controller gains creates a 3 3 green frog lizard creature token. Frog lizard. Smothering tide. Smothering tithe. Three and white enchantment. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may be a two. If the player doesn't, you create a colorless treasure artifact creature token with tap, sacrifice, add to a man of any color. That's pretty, that's pretty good. We got a Simic Guildgate. Tap to add. Guildgate enters battlefield tap. Tap, add green or blue. And we got a spirit. White, black, 1-1 one, one with flying. Well, of course, it's an Orzov. All right. Let's do the rundown. See what I play. Um... Yeah, that ooh, that actually that's pretty good to lock down your opponents. That's that's peak Orzov anyway. Uh, I do like it. That it that would oof. so yeah. To kind of like, do you want to? <laughs> of course, you know, player got to play cards. You know, got to draw a card anyway. Uh really nasty against blue players who like. Oh, I can play this card to draw a card. You gonna pay two? Nope. Well, I get a treasure token. That's pretty fun. Um, let's get a little split card. Um, like I said, he's a target creature. You can play it on yourself. You want to get rid of a creature that's uh, no longer useful? Which seems to be the Simic way. Or No, that's his it. I don't know. One of them gets rid of people easily. Anyway. Uh, incub incubation's good for a single drop. Reveal the creature card, put it in your hand. Uh, I do like this one. It flies, all the other flyers get plus one. Uh, so if you got a bunch of, like, flying spirits, boom, they're now 2-1. Uh, so yeah, that is, ooh, I do like that one. I mean, yeah, it's pretty expensive, but, you know... Getting the flyers out. Uh, also, do like this one. Uh, you know, slap something on it that makes it unblockable. Oof, that would just be nasty. So, uh, or something that deals combat damage, like arena or something. Uh, you know, deal combat damage to a target player without having to do something. I think I'm sure that's a card. That that. That made sense in my head. <laughs> anyway, it's good. It's good. Um, pay a three to make it a five five. It's all right. I, mm, I mean, you know, it's it's not uh, it's not sorcery, so you could like do it any time. I guess. I think. Um, one drop for a nuke spell, so that's always good. Like, like we would love a good nuke spell, so that solid. That is solid. Um, let's do both the lockets at once here. <laughs> Get it out of the way. Um, they're all right. I mean, you know, a mana three drop for a mana source is a bit much, and you got to get rid of it. Just draw two cards. You got to pay four to get two cards. So you got to pay more to get two cards. It, I mean, there's there's better, cheaper mana sources than that. So on a whole, probably not. But I guess they're better than the clue stones. Uh, I do like this, especially with trample. 
Uh, that's palpable. So you could like, if you got enough, and if you're playing green, you've got enough. Um, you know, we get a, a nine three, a twelve three, a fifteen three with trample. Hell, if you want to, you put a one one counter on it, so it'd be like even more. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be like sixteen four, <laughs> and just. Pfft, Plow over anything. Um, it's pretty good adapt. Like I said, but turns them into a, you know early game. You can put them out, and then once you got enough, you can turn them into a six six. So that's a good little sneaky creature to have. Um, I do like that. Uh, like I said, that if you got a four four, if you got a power four, so that would probably do well with like. Match it up with Simic. Oh, there's your one card combo right there. Or one pack combo. Pump him up to 6-6 six, six, and then play that. Sacrifice a creature and uh, you gain four life. Hooray. Um, I want to see this in action. I want to see, like, what, 15 lands and then the rest just partitioners. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> See how far you could get with that. I might just. I, I might actually. Like down the road. Do a weird pack channel. Uh, do like a weird deck channel or something. Make a deck of nothing but these. And see how far we can get. <laughs> I think there was another card. That was like deck could have any another. I think it was like dragon approaches. I think. I don't know. Uh, I'll, my cards are currently being sorted through. So I'm working on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's easy enough, you know, put them into play, someone else gets a 1-1, one, one. um, I, I have a, 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 like, dark, giddy spot for the Rakdos, so anything involving them is fun, um, so, yeah, that, it's like, Deal damage, but you don't deal enough to kill them. Hit them with a scorch mark. Boom. Fun times. And they get exile too, so it can't do the uh, graveyard mess. Uh, MVP. Honestly, I'm going to go with the Windstorm Drake. It gets flying. Other creatures flying get, one, get plus one. So... Hell, get two of them out. They they give each other plus one. So, and if you play flyers, it's pretty damn nasty. Just have a increased uh, mess on your hands. Uh, in any case, that is ravenous, ravenous, uh, Ravnica Allegiance fifth anniversary, not fifth anniversary pack, just fifth anniversary of it coming out. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, awesome mess with the, uh, okay, we're not messing with that. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.